you need to step up as a leader because like creatives creatives in our field you know whether you're authors or bloggers or speakers or you know painters or videographers or whatever business owners like we uh, I think the world expects great things of us because we're actually we have the ability we have a vision and we have to go after it as being a leader so um, and leaders are learners too so I mean you learn and copy the greats I a great book for anybody to check out one of my mentors personally who who endorsed my book his name is Jeff Goins and he wrote a book called Real Artists Don't Starve. And it's all about breaking down that mentality and that mindset of like the starving artists, you know, like mm. I'm going to be, if I go after my dream, you know, and drop out of school and be an artist, I'm going to always like be suffering and be in poverty and stuff. So it's kind of breaking down the mentality and creating the new paradigm of like, you know, the thriving artist thinks like this, you know, like the thriving artist copies of the greats and makes it their own but the starving artist tries to be an original you know and like there's nothing mm-hmm. new under the sun you know like we can't we can't be completely original we're always drawing inspiration and drawing creativity from something so we might as well do it really well you mm-hmm. know like even quentin tarantino says like one of the he's a filmmaker who did like kill bill and all yeah. those movies yeah he says that like you know if you're not if you're not copying like the greats if you're not copying and like you know reproducing what's already been done then you're like kind of a fraud or you're not really like you know Mm. you're not really a great artist you're actually just like an amateur you know Mm. an amateur and an amateur is somebody who loves what they do but like being a professional is like you know professionally like stealing ripping off people's work (laughs) not ripping it off but like seeing like this was well this was well done before like led zeppelin copied the blues you know the blues musicians from like the 1950s and stuff in the 40s or whatever and they just like legit ripped off licks and ripped off like different chord progressions and stuff of those yeah. bands because they were well known and popular but then their first album sold like how many million copies because it was something that was already done before but just had its own flavor to it like it wasn't the same thing but it was an updated version of what's already been done Got you. so therefore they like copied the greats yeah. and found success because they were just taking what was been done and adding to it so they like, don't feel that like your idea has to be like the most original thing ever it could just be building on something that's already been good but mm-hmm. wasn't great you know maybe it was great but it wasn't like amazing 